So I just wanted to make a brief video. Um, we have moved beyond um, peaceful protest. Uh, kinetic warfare is at hand. Um, Russia has uh, rushed into Ukraine. Now they're only going to take the eastern part of the state. I don't think they're going to move throughout the, the nation of Ukraine and, and try to take the whole country over. But, um, you know, this is where we are, people. And, and whether you want to believe in it or not, this is shooting war. And, uh, uh, well, the, the catastrophe that took place in Canada, do you think that's not going to end up in kinetic warfare? I mean, the peaceful Canadians, well, granted, they got their guns taken away because they didn't have a Second Amendment. Um, but at the same time, I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe some people in their military are going to rise up and say, you know what, I mean, what the government, that idiot Trudeau is doing, you know, that maybe they're going to say, you know what, enough is enough. Um, so we're, you know, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new world. This, this, this is kinetic warfare. Now, you look up that term on the Internet, and you're going to find out this means shooting bullets back and forth at each other or shooting missiles or, or um, hypersonic missiles or what, whatever you want to, want to call them. Hopefully not nuclear. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Holy moly! I tell you, I'm just, I'm just watching the news. Uh, but what, what I've seen taking place in Canada now, and now, of course, you know, I'm gonna, I am gonna join the truckers' convoy to go to Washington D.C. But it sounds like they want that whole situation to go kinetic. They want us to get violent and uh, and and fight against the, uh, uh, well, the federal government. And, um, you know, I'm, of course, I'm not going to have any weapons in my car. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, but at the same time, um, I, don't, I don't see where this thing results. Now, here's, here's the statistics for you. 67%, 67% of the Democrats in the United States support Justin Trudeau and what he did to the Canadians. So where do you, where do you go with that? Where do you go with that? I, I, I mean, I, I'm actually shocked. I mean, I would have thought even the Democrats would have looked on that situation and said, you know, this dictatorial, uh, uh, stupid son of a gun that uh, cracked down on the truckers and arrested them and took took everything that they had to survive uh, away from them. Uh, You'd think that'd be a bad thing. No, no, they're all for it. I tell you what, the, the Democrats are Nazis, okay? And uh, we, we <clears throat> anyway, that's the situation that we're in. So I'll be there with the truckers on uh, February 27th uh, as we roll into uh 495 and uh, let's pray that uh, you know the whole federal government and well they'd be, they've called up the National Guard which by the way <laughs> I served in the National Guard you know maybe I can talk to them guys I can say look man I'm part of you man I served in the National Guard I've served in the Army I've served in the uh, Air Force and I've served in the Marine Corps they're probably not even going to listen to it because I have met Democrats that think, you know, that it's okay uh, what took place in Afghanistan. Now, you tell me what you saw take place in Afghanistan. What do you think about that? Now, what do you think about what's taking place in the Ukraine right now as the Russians pour across the border? You're all for that? Now, as, as, as China is going to take over Taiwan... You was a Democrat. You're all for that. I tell you what, man. If you're a Democrat, get the hell out of any Republican state. Go to New York. Go to California. Put three masks on your face. Put some cellophane over your head. And get the hell out of any Repu Republican states. I'm done.